So, I was sitting at my computer, staring at the ceiling recently after playing a game in Thunder and getting detonated by a torpedo drop. So, in the middle of questioning the point of life in general and why these things are allowed to happen, and being glad I didn't stream that game at twitch.tv slash calling, I decided to also question just why the hell am I so bad at World of Warships? And so, I thought, what better a topic to make a video on? So, with that, let's discuss how bad you can be, and how bad I am, and discover some of the differences between Super Unicom gameplay and some of the gameplay you would see if you give someone who didn't know how to turn on a computer an account and told them to just figure it out as they go. We'll be going over multiple things that I'm basically too lazy to list yet. I'm still trying to figure out how that detonation happened to be honest, so we'll just hit all the points as we go along. So with that being said, let's go. So what I thought we'd do is go over three different stages that encapsulates from start to finish the process of a super unicum, and how a lot of players really fail to follow these things through, or fail at one or more, and thus fail to reach the highest level possible, which I often do. So the three stages are observation, this doesn't mean pressing M and just watching the battle unfold and doing nothing. Action. This doesn't mean deciding before the game to just rush into a cap regardless of what happens. And execution. Um, that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean what you think it means, at least I hope not. So first things first, let's start with observation. Now you might think that when I say Super Unicum observation, that I'm thinking of some almighty god that can oversee everything happening on the map, and what is going to happen on the map with one quick glance of the minimap, and you'd be partially right, to be completely honest. Now let's be clear here, in order to be good at the game, you don't need to have the third eye of vision to spot any mistakes before they happen. In reality, you just need to not be the reincarnated spirit of the guy in the crow's nest on the Titanic, i.e. able to spot something that's going to go horribly horribly wrong if you keep going on your original course. Now I do understand that this can be difficult for some, especially in difficult situations where say you have to 1v1 an enemy DD, and also be observant of the positioning of the enemy cruisers just in case they decide to move into a position where they can one shot you. Looking at you Minotaur. God, I've been one shot and one shot so many times in that ship. But anyways, this isn't a therapy session for me to air all my grievances, although based on my past content I'm not all that sure that's even completely true. Anyways, back to observation. It's all about building a habit. For the first few games you're going to have to force yourself to just look at the minimap and actually take in the information that's been shown to you. Or alternatively, you could act like me and have the mind of a sieve, look constantly at the minimap and still forgetting that there's an enemy Petro Pavlosk sitting right around that corner. But trust me, it does get better the more you do it. It might not have for me, but um, yeah, next point. Well, that went horrifically, but seriously, being able to observe what is happening on the map is probably the most important skill in the entire game, and I'm not joking about that at all. So next up on the list, and the next factor in what separates the Super Unicom from the rest of the player base is action. Now I'm going to preface this by saying that basically all action is reliant on observation. You see, in order to actually take action, you have to have some kind of clue as to what's actually happening on the map. Without that information, you're basically wandering around in the dark looking for the light switch, i.e. being completely useless. So let's say you've developed your observational skills to such an extent where you know you're good at it. What action should you be taking? Well, this is perhaps the only part of this uh, equation where what people call the feeling or the feel comes into play. Generally, once you know what's happening, especially early in the game, you have a couple of actions that you can take that would have favorable outcomes. Let's take an example, shall we? Let's say you start the game in a DD. In the very first minute, you're observant, and you see that certain ships on the enemy team head towards A cap, a Des Moines, for example. Now, you were heading for A, but because of what you've observed, you now need to take action. And in this case, changing direction away from A could be a good idea. But that's not to say that's the only good idea. You could also continue towards A, but keep your distance and stay at arm's length from the Des Moines. Either way though, you have to take action. Taking action stops you from the worst possible outcome. Honestly, if you play the game to avoid the worst possible outcome, the majority of the time you'll do well. So we have observation, action, and next we have execution. The final aspect is what separates good players from the super unicorn players. So let's get to it. 
So we finally reached the final point, and this is probably the most concrete point, or the most clearly visible to most players, and that is execution. And if this aspect of your gameplay is particularly bad, it is probably pretty similar to concrete in that you'll sink pretty goddamn fast because without proper execution, you're destined to be a good or above average player at most, and an average to bad player at worst. Now in saying that, execution is one of the few things that you can actively work on, and this is true even outside of the game. You see, in those very few instances, say one or two maximum in a game, where you have the broadside of an enemy ship, well, maybe more than one or two in a random battle, based on the battles that are happening so far, or where you have to 1v1 an enemy Yamato in your thunder to win the game, you have to know specific things about the game, be it armor layout, penetration angles, gun caliber, etc, etc, etc. I'm even boring myself right now, holy shit. You see, this is why I'm not a Unicom player, because I don't take an enjoyment in learning the specifics about certain ships, or situations that truly do make all the difference when it comes down to it. Now, these aspects can be the difference between finishing the top XP player in your team and finishing at the bottom. Seriously. Now, another powerful aspect of execution is things like aiming, which can be very focus consuming. With aiming, some people say it's a feel thing, while others say it's a very much an empirical matter or endeavor. I fall, I fall somewhere in between. There are 100% concrete ways to improve your aim and how consistently you aim. But to get that final super unicum level of aim, I do think there's a very strong muscle memory to take into account slash feeling aspect that's just something you need to pick up. So painting these things together creates an extremely strong super unicum player. And I guess that's the video. Well, at least the execution part done. So no, that actually is the video for now. I hope this was insightful. These videos in particular are a way for me to express some thoughts about the game and the way it's played, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to follow my stream, you can at twitch.tv slash starkcalling, and as always, you can subscribe if you're enjoying the content. But until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.